Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So we continue our learning on CMG CMOST. And in previous sections, we have constructed the sensitivity analysis. And then we run, we, we check at the control center. And we see that the experiments were on progress. And, and then we stop the section. And as you can see, we have completed the experiments. And you check at this one, elapsed time, it takes 21 minutes, 40 seconds to complete all the experiments. And you see the engine events here, show all, you can check the note, job title oil, number 79, and so on and so forth, complete launcher, and then start pre-simulation command and so on and so forth. And you can also check the experiments table here. Proxy role, training, training, you see. And we go to the right. At compressibility, this value, at that fracture permeability, fracture layer down, fracture layer up, the combination of all these parameters so overall we have how many 93 or 92 experiments here all of them are completed okay result status some have the normal termination but some abnormal termination all right and again, we do this sensitivity analysis. We do this experiment to know which parameter is really, really important for cumulative oil production, cumulative gas production, gas oil ratio, and which parameters that are not very important to influence that objective functions. Okay, the objective functions, the objective value that we want to know is, of course, the cumulative oil production, cumulative oil, cumulative gas production and gas oil ratio. All right, so we go back to the control center, status complete, and this light green reused, we achieve 92% completed. And the result, 67 normal termination, and 26 abnormal termination. You can check it also here, status summary and result summary. All right, so far so good. And then from control center, we can go to parameters. By the way, under the result analysis, result and analysis, we have parameters and then the time series, property versus distance, objective function. Okay, and we can expand the parameters. And yeah, you can see we have run progress, histograms, all experiments, histograms, filter experiments, and also the cross plot. We check the run progress. And we have all our parameters that we insert in our experiment. So let's check the first one, compressibility. So this is the, yeah, you can say the, yeah, the, the, the value of compressibility that we use. And you see, we have random number, random selection of compressibility. Sometimes big, sometimes small, sometimes big, sometimes at the middle. Yeah, we pick the compressibility value that we put into our experiment. We, we take it randomly, all right? And also the fracture permeability. You can also check the value, by the way. The x-axis, the horizontal axis is the experiment ID, experiment number one, experiment number two, all the way to experiment number 92. And yeah, fracture permeability. This is the random selection, fracture layer down, fracture layer up, 
you see we select discrete number okay for fracture layer up so we don't have 1.5 1 1.25 1 1.3 we only have one two three we have integer for fracture layer up and fracture layer down okay because in fracture layer up and fracture layer down we are talking about how many layers that our fracture will extend to okay and we only have one layer two layer three layer four layer discrete okay half length okay relative permeability to oil this is the curvature horizontal permeability vertical permeability kvkh porosity all right so these are again these are the values for each parameters that were selected to be used in our experiment that's for the run progress and we go to the next section i will close this one and then let's open the histogram 